So how to receive divine healing? Desire. Everybody say desire. desire. Say faith. faith. Say confession. Faith. Say prayer. Faith. Care. Care. All right. What happens when we pray and there's no healing? What happens when you pray and there's no healing? You say, Kong, have you prayed for some people and there's no healing? Yes. But Jesus healed everyone that came to him. Well, I'm not Jesus. <laughs> and neither are you. We are just trying our best. You know, some Christians are afraid to pray for healing because they don't want to be disappointed. They have bad experiences when they pray for the sick. Nothing happened. There's no healing. And then you feel embarrassed. I want to take the pressure off you. Pressure off. What is this? Pressure off. No pressure. Pressure off. Let's remember, healing comes from God and not man. Healing comes from who? God. Who is the healer? God. Right? So we know that God loves to heal. We know that God wants to heal. We know that healing is in His nature. We know He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to bring healing to us. So when we have desired, when we have believed, when we have confessed, when we have prayed, and we have done the best that we know how, and nothing happens, then we just got to humbly accept we are not God. We just got to acknowledge that God's ways are higher than our ways. That there are some things in life we'll never understand until we get to heaven. And we just submit to the sovereignty of God. That is a very powerful word, the sovereignty of God. He is God. He's all-knowing. He's all-merciful. He's all-loving. We can't, Sometimes we can't figure Him out. And we live in an imperfect, broken-down world cursed by sin. We live in a world where there are wars, famines, tsunamis, typhoon, earthquakes, plagues, diseases, epidemics, cancer, mad cow disease, bird flu, avian flu, AIDS, SARS, part of fallen humanity, part of living in a broken down world also means some are born deformed, some are born handicapped. Some are born physically and mentally challenged. Give an example. Paul, I mean, so amazing, right? The poisonous snake bit him. He cast into the flame. Nothing happened. He prayed. People get healed. But yet, history tells us Paul had a persistent eye disease that he never got healed from. So while he prayed for the sick, he himself had an eye disease. While the snake bit him and nothing happened, that could be healed, but this eye disease. I'm sure when Paul, went, when Paul goes to heaven or went to heaven, he will ask God, hey, what happened, Lord? <laughs> this can work, why not this? It's the sovereignty of God. Timothy had a persistent stomach weaknesses. I, you just seen that. Prophemus, another uh, Bible leader, was left sick in Miletus. Because we don't live in a perfect world, there will be a time we'll all die. Now, we can't control the time God will take us. We don't know when we'll die, but we shouldn't have to die before that time because of sickness, poor health, or abuse of our body. The good news is this. Even if we don't get better in our lifetime, if we got a sickness and we don't get well, we know that we know that we know one day when we get to heaven, there'll be the ultimate place of healing. There's no cancer in heaven. There's no arthritis in heaven. No heart disease. No AIDS in heaven. Oh, come on. Let's give the Lord a big hand. It's a place of ultimate healing. I want to end with this verse, Revelation 21 and verse 4. I want singers and musicians to come. It says, And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. One day, we will all have perfect health when we meet Jesus face to face. But for now, we should pray. And I know that, I mean, 
it can get embarrassing. You pray for, for someone and nothing happened. But yet Jesus wants us to pray. If Jesus says so, and you know He loves to heal, if it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. It's good enough for this church. How many of you want to have a healing church? Put up your hands. Yes. How many of you want to see miracles happening in this church? Put up your hands. Right? So we got to keep on pushing out in this area, breakthrough in this area, believe God for signs and wonders and healing miracles.